So let's talk about this example because I needed to uh, fix it and uh, and restate it. Uh, we're using the U, uh, the midpoint rule uh, with n equal five for the partition to approximate the following integral. Uh, so the the integral is given here, and uh, we have uh, of course uh, here for the visual this graph. So uh, the the beginning, of course, the formula is um, uh, you have. Um, this definite integral is going to be uh, equal to delta x times the, the the sum for the f of x i star when star is the sample point, and the sample point here is used is the midpoint. And when we say the midpoint, you see this uh, here. That's the midpoint in each one where the function is passing. Uh, so to find delta x, we do b minus a, so uh, this is uh, a, this is a, and this is b, and uh, that's 3 fifth, which is 0. 0.6. So I put here uh, out, outside the graph just to show that um, now when you, when, because you used five, so when you start with a is equal one, and you add 0. 0.6, uh, you will get to 1.6. Then you add again 0. 0.6 and you get 2.2. And you keep adding until you get to B, which is uh, four. And once you get to four, that's where we are working for the interval, uh, the integral. And now the midpoints that are using, so delta X is this part here, and we need the Y value, so, uh, or the, or the length, uh, which may look here as the height. So we need this part here, and we have this part here. And when we do this, uh, uh, of course, for the area, length times width, we, we, we get uh, this area here for this first one. And to do that, we use the midpoint. The midpoint is the average for the one and 1.6, give it a 1.3, so that's the midpoint there. And similarly, you do that for the next one. So 1.6, 2.2, we get 1.4. So um, uh, you can do as well 2.2 plus 2.8, or this year, uh, divided by two, and that will give you 2.5, and so forth. Then uh, now we have the xi's, right? Uh, so remember f of xi, f of x is three over x. So f of the first, midpoint, uh, we can call it x1 star, uh, x2 star, x3 star, x4 star, x5 star, right? And now, now we're going to substitute 1.3 into the function f of x, and that will give us the first one. We substitute 1.4. Um, into the function 2.5, 3.1, 3.7, and uh, of course 0. 0.6 is the delta x there, that is the 0. 0.6. And it's just a matter of a, uh, a calculator problem now, right? Then we get 4.1191, uh, and that means this blue area that we're trying to find out and uh, uh, calculate is uh, about four point, let's say, one two. That's all. So this is how the midpoint uh, rule works, and you can try different examples. You can try it for let's say x square between zero and one, or zero and two, and partition. And, and of course, the, the the more partitions we have, the better uh, calculation we will we will have. All right, thank you.